In non-standard analysis, a field of mathematics, the increment theorem states the following: Suppose a function y equals f x is differentiable at x and that delta x is infinitesimal. Then delta y equals f x delta x plus epsilon delta x display style delta y equals f x delta x plus var epsilon delta x for some infinitesimal epsilon where delta y equals f x plus delta x minus f x display style delta y equals f x plus delta x f x if delta x does not equal zero display style script style delta x not equals zero then we may write delta y delta x equals f x plus epsilon display style frac delta y delta x equals f x plus var epsilon which implies that delta y delta x approximately equals f x Display style script style frac delta y delta x approximately f x, or in other words that delta y delta x display style script style frac delta y delta x is infinitely close to f x display style script style f x or f x display style script style f x is the standard part of delta y delta x Display style script style frac delta y delta x. A similar theorem exists in standard calculus. Again, assume that y equals f x is differentiable, but now let delta x be a non-zero standard real number. Then the same equation delta y equals f x delta x plus epsilon delta x display style delta y equals f x delta x plus var epsilon delta x holds with the same definition of delta y but instead of epsilon being infinitesimal we have lim delta x 0 epsilon equals 0 display style lim underscore delta x to 0 var epsilon equals 0 Treating x and f as given so that epsilon is a function of delta x alone. <laughs> 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 
Topic See also Non-standard calculus Elementary calculus an infinitesimal approach Abraham Robinson <laughs>